course, the holidays bring up a lot of anxiety for a lot of people. My ANVAD calendar is mostly Xanax. <laughs> and it might be especially bad this year because according to the American Psychiatric Association, 40% of Americans report feeling more anxious in 2018 than they did in 2017, which saw a 36% increase over 2016. Huh. Something crazy must have happened in 2016. <laughs> oh, I know. Brangelina broke up. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Russia. As a result, there's a new trend on the rise, anxiety baking, which is often followed by a more dangerous little brother, bipolar deep fat frying. <laughs> Apparently, the routine of baking helps calm people's nerves, and the trend has become so big, there's even a new anxiety baking show. Take a look. Welcome and greetings to... Oh, can we take this again? No? That's fine. Okay, it's fine. Welcome to Anxiety Baking, the baking show that helps you cope. Today we're making a funfetti cake. It's 20 minutes of prep, 30 minutes in the oven, and three months till we have any closure on the Michael Flynn case. And that's fine too. I'm sweating. Step one, let's get out some eggs. And wait, do you wash the eggs? Maybe you do, because my mom sent me a link to an article that says the salmonella is actually on the outside of the egg. So if you crack it unwashed, the whole egg just gets filtered through butt bacteria. Is it hot in here? Probably hormones. Or maybe it's cancer. So first, you dump out the flour and... Because we gotta get to the bottom of this egg thing. So you Google how to get flour off a laptop. Did I leave the oven on? So you take all your eggs and you take them right with you into the oven and... And this is actually a great place to make phone calls from because they can hear you loud and clear. So, hello, the pharmacy? Hello? Can you hear me? 